What it is, what it do, people. It's me, Sonny. You haven't seen me before. That's probably because it wasn't till last year since I started making videos. And for the most part, it may seem random, but I'm just into a lot of things and passionate about it. And one of them that I'm starting off with today um, is Salvation Army. Uh, anything thrift, I'm about checking out and exploring, trying to get that hunt to resell and oftentimes keep. <laughs> so I'm always looking stuff for myself and stuff for my wife. Some stuff's brand new. Don't think that thrift is ever when you're thrifting that it's ever just hand-me-downs. Um, sometimes stuff has the tags, mint condition, you'd be amazed what you find. I, but I ended up coming here to Salvation Army yesterday and had to go to work soon after, after I got off of my shift. I went home and I was gonna take pictures, gonna post it, and I noticed something was inside one of the pockets and it was a nice little necklace. Nice little necklace, it was actually real to tell you the truth, but my conscience was saying, yo dude, turn it in, you didn't pay for it. So I'm gonna go turn it in, do the right thing. So it's real gold and real diamonds. Let me know if you would turn it in or would you keep it? it do, I'm back people. And as you see, I'm wearing this awesome, pretty cool hat, if I don't say it so myself. And it's not really my size to fit perfect, like up here, you know, like right on top, like a cowboy. I ended up going with my one of my friends that I ended up meeting when I was working in the post office last year. His name is Josh Morena, and he was like, hey man, how do you do thrifting? Asking me questions. We pretty much spent all day together from like, I think like nine in the morning to pretty much four, because I had to come back home because my wife wakes up at four, something like that. So I was talking to him, and on the way out, we ended up going to um, a Goodwill, and I found this hat, and from a distance, it just looks like one of those cheap hats, right? And I, usually what I do, even if it looks cheap, I just touch it. There's something about when you go thrifting, the feel of stuff, and it says a lot. And as soon as I touched it, I was like, whoa. Looked inside, and the person who makes this is Herbert Johnson. And the more information I found, like looked into it, it took about an hour when I got home. And it's actually one of the rare hats that he made back in the day, inspired by Indiana Jones. And I was like, boom, I got a price. I looked up when two other hats were sold around $350 to $388. I put it up online for, damn, it's kind of dark. My face is kind of dark or shadowy. So I put it up for $450 and within two minutes got a message. Hey, can you take a picture of the photo that's, or the label that's inside the hat? And I did look, but I missed it. I just didn't catch it. It's kind of blends in in a way. But it's right, right there, if you can see it, partial. So I took a picture, updated, I said, hey, there it is. They said, hey, message me back. Would you take $375 for it? And I was like, I sure will. Because I only paid $14 for this. And it sold within five minutes and about an hour research. So, welcome. Welcome to my mess. Look at all this stuff that I sort, list, ship. Now I need to find these. These are, these are what's up. Now these, I was excited about. Cause I also bought these for, I think I got these for 11 bucks. And these are Kohan, that's a very good name. Just like everything else, there's lower end and higher end. And I was looking at these, I was like, damn, this is like a chocolate suede leather. And I was like, oh, look at that, there's a price tag. Even though they are older, they're in really good shape with leather bottoms. And look at that, originally 215 bucks, down 240. And the thing about these people with shoes, I do very, very good with shoes. I just sold, oh, part of the label that I paid for I'm done there. But part of the, part of these are very clean. Look at that, new, new with stickers. Just because it's not in perfect mint condition doesn't mean nothing. And for some reason, somebody ended up writing a number. But don't let stuff like this discourage you from selling or even putting photos on there. Don't don't worry about hiding it. Just leave it there. Because you're looking at the name and the shoe. And this is on there. I'm going to leave it there. Whoever buys it could get it. And I'm hoping to get at least $90 out of this. Now, I will price it up higher for a better offer. And I think these will. And I'll go ahead and put it in a medium flat rate box. But I'll charge them for that too. 
Let's see what else I got. Let me know what you think about these. These are, I don't know. They're size eight. I don't want to try these on. I wear like a nine and a half to 10. So um, several hundred bucks to be made here, people. Well, I already made 375 minus 10%. That's going to be $330, pretty much $36 that I got to subtract plus the $15. So $35, $40, $45, dollars So $51 minus $375. I made $300 and something dollars alone on this profit. These I have not listed yet. I was cleaning up a little bit. It looks faded, but that's just the way the suede is. It looks better in person. But you don't have to take my word for it. Buy them. All right, next. What are you doing? What are you doing out here? You trying to you trying to rock my shoes? Look at that. You trying to rock these did? I don't think these fit you. I don't think these fit you. The other stuff. Well, the other stuff is just t-shirts, people. Stuff I bought for myself, but I'll show you. Oh, let me take this. I'll take this. All right, let's go back to the kitchens where everything's cooking. Good job, Tip. Way to come back inside without me having to choke you out. So, I did go to Salvation Army as well. And that got me a pretty good t-shirt. Just a basic Nike t-shirt for $2. It's pretty much brand new. Even smells brand new. Just don't have the tags. And it's my size, size large. I've shrunken down about 10 pounds since I started working four months ago. It's crazy, it's already four months since I've been working. And I was not working, like for anybody, besides thrifting and hustling digital media designs and apparel and stuff, for six months. Time is flying by fast now. Now this one was pretty cool, I also bought this for myself. I'm gonna say this is probably an extra large. It doesn't have the tag on there, but I swore I saw it when I got it. And uh, it's a Society Supply Co. t-shirt. These sell for pretty much 20 something bucks, 30 something bucks, used 18 bucks, but this is for me. I really like the color. I'm a blue person. So if you see this color, can you see that? This type of coloration, not necessarily the color, but the way it is, that's called the heather, people. So if you see like black with gray or kind of off a little bit, speckled in some way, that's a heather. This for $3.99. And it was actually half off. And this is Dallas Cowboys. I need to wash this. This is a vintage jersey, size medium, I believe. Size medium. And if y'all don't know, I am a Dallas Cowboy fan, but they didn't make it. So go, no other team. I ain't rooting for nobody. But I will be working on Super Bowl. Yay. So nothing big about this, but they do sell pretty good. The darker ones, the blue on blue ones, Cowboy blue on cowboy blue. Those sell for much more, but just gotta wash this up and that's it. Pretty good sell. Vintage 32. Not sure who the player is, but I know it is vintage. Old school jersey. Just gotta wash it up. I am gonna need some OxyClean. And the reason why is because the, the white on this is a little dingy and I think the OxyClean is gonna bring that white back out of it. Um, it'll be really good, but pretty good find. Other than that, nothing else to show you people that's it for my video let me know what you think about that hat people when you're out thrifting don't just don't just stick to one type of thing unless you're really good at it and you're you're sticking to your comfort zone but i've sold obviously hats baseball caps purses trinkets makeup like plush bowls like for 50 cents sold for 110 last year within seven hours like I make some pretty good money, but it just takes time to resource stuff, to actually put your smartphone to use. Your phone is only as smart as you are, so take advantage of your battery, keep it charged, search for stuff, look at compare prices of what other people are doing. Don't be afraid to up prices, especially as one of like a rare thing. I could have got more for it, I'm sure I could have, because within two minutes, there was already two watchers for this hat. And for me, that's not fast. I don't have a big following on eBay, I only have like, four people but those are also resellers so I know more than likely they're not gonna buy something but it's pretty cool because I know these guys I see them on YouTube all the time and the Instagrammies but um that's it people I'm out of here I'm about to go pack this up and be on my way to the post office so 
give this video a thumbs up subscribe and stay tuned for more let me know what you liked about this video and uh not so much of what you don't like adios bromigos and bromigas i'm out of here